A Panola County prosecuting attorney uses a decades old state code to label this mobile home near Sardis a public nuisance and have its occupant evicted. The address is just beyond the jurisdiction of the Sardis Police Department, but as WRG's April Thompson reports, the location is very well known to Panola County deputies. Fights. Uh, shootings uh, and even homicides. Panola County Sheriff Shane Phelps says his deputies have frequently been called to investigate criminal activity in front of this mobile home at 26 Willow Road. Phelps says it got so bad residents would beg for the sheriff's help to stop the violence, drug use and gunfire happening almost daily. People would walk up to us, uh, tell us that they're, they're scared to walk from the living room to the, uh, to the bedroom or from the kitchen to the bedroom. Uh, they're scared that a bullet's gonna come through their window. Phelps reached out to Panola County prosecuting attorney Gaines Baker, who applied a decades old Mississippi nuisance code originally used during prohibition, as well as code violations regarding use and possession of controlled substances. Always narcotics, marijuana, you smell it every time you go through there. Uh, weapons, just, just gang activity. November 3rd, a Panola County Chancery Court judge agreed the mobile home property was a public nuisance and ordered the occupant to vacate the property by 5 p.m. that day. He also ruled that neither occupant, Rhonda Walls, or any other person can rent or gather at the address. We asked a number of residents in the mobile home community about their concerns over criminal activity at the address, but no one wanted to go on camera. One homeowner showed us two bullet holes in one of his vehicles, but said he was concerned for his safety and a TV interview wasn't worth risking his life for. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. We asked, but no one was able to tell us where the woman who lived at the mobile home moved to, and we were unable to locate the owner.